Please join me for the flag salute. Ready, salute, and pledge. You probably know that every year on November 11th, Americans celebrate Veterans Day to honor the millions of men and women who have served or are serving in the nation's armed forces. But bet you didn't know the whole story behind the holiday. For starters, it wasn't originally called Veterans Day, but Armistice Day to commemorate the truce signed between the Allies and Germany in World War I on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. The first Armistice Day in the U.S. was celebrated on November 11, 1919. All business was suspended for two minutes starting at 11 a.m., and parades and public gatherings were held to commemorate the occasion. Later, America also began honoring its unknown soldiers on Armistice Day, a tradition that continues today. At 11 a.m. every Veterans Day, a color guard ceremony represents all branches of the military at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery. In 1954, the name was changed to Veterans Day, following a national campaign to have the day honor all veterans, not just those who served in World War I. And did you know, for seven years, Veterans Day was actually celebrated in October? In 1968, Congress moved Veterans Day to the fourth Monday in October, so that government employees could enjoy a long weekend. But in 1975, President Gerald Ford returned Veterans Day to November 11th due to the historical significance. And that's where it sits on the calendar today. And do you know the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day? Both of them honor those men and women who have served in the military, but Memorial Day honors America's war dead, while Veterans Day honors all American veterans, living and dead. The U.S. Census Bureau estimates that there are currently over 21 million living military veterans in the United States. More than 16 million of these served during times of war, while 5.5 million served during peacetime only. So this Veterans Day, don't forget to say thanks to some of the millions of men and women who have served our country. The next soccer game will be as follows. Varsity plays Monday, November 6th at Pioneers. Athletes will be released at 2.15 and bus leaves at 2.30. JV plays on Wednesday, November 8th here at John Muir. Athletes will be released at 3. Game starts at 3.45. A message from your ASB president and principal. If students are going to continue throwing trash on the ground and not in its proper receptacles, Mr. Wilmer will be forced to keep you in the cafeteria during break and lunch, and ASB will be forced to close down the student store. Please be mindful that this campus is a reflection of you. Open gym for boys basketball Monday, November 6th at 3.30 to 4.30. Congratulations to Serena Cortez for being selected as the Wild Wildcat of the Week. She was selected by Mr. J. Friends of Rachel's, the FOR club will be meeting on Thursday, November 9th during lunchtime. The Wildcat Op Store will also be open on Thursday, so make sure you bring your Ops tickets. Fundraiser items will be available to pick up on Thursday, November 16th from 3.15 p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. in Cooper Hall. Hey, 8th graders, the yearbook class wants your baby or toddler pictures. We would like to feature you in a Remember When spread. Please send us your favorite snapshot of you as a baby or a toddler. They have to be personal photos and not photos from a professional photographer. Put a sticky note on the back of your photo with your first and last name, spelled correctly, and the name of your seventh period teacher. Bring your photos to room C4. Let us celebrate you. Breakfast and lunch menu. Breakfast. Cereal and yogurt. Lunch, teriyaki chicken thighs, rice pilaf, salad bar, and fresh soda fruit. Have a Wildcat Day and remember Wildcat Ops, respect for others, property, and self.